What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. It is tag season. Yes, so today opens up the franchise tag season for NFL teams. It closes on March the 7th. So today at 4 p.m. to March the 7th is when teams can franchise tag players. And I'm going to give you this video today, give you my prediction on a couple of these guys. You know, will they be tagged? Will they not be tagged? I have a couple guys, uh, about five to seven, maybe 10, depends on how I'm feeling. Uh, so we'll see where it goes. But before we get started, I want to give you um, kind of a definition of all the tags. Cause it's not just one franchise tag, if you didn't know. You know, there are multiple tags. I did a video maybe a month ago on Lamar Jackson possibly getting the non-exclusive tag, which means basically that if, if the team does tag, if the, well, let's, let's keep it on him. If the Ravens does tag Lamar Jackson with a non-exclusive tag, that means that they can uh, look, they can, they can have him look or his agent look to, to be traded. I don't think Lamar has an agent either. So and, uh, it'll, it'll be him trying to call the teams to see, can they trade me? We can't come to a long-term deal, blah, blah, blah. But Lamar looking like he won't get that tag. He'll get the exclusive franchise tag, which means the Ravens will not allow him to look for a trade. So, But we'll get into that later when we get to Lamar Jackson. So as I just said, the non-exclusive tag basically lets a team tag a player and then uh, they will allow that person, that that player or his agent, to go and look for a trade. So that's the non-exclusive in the short term. Exclusive, if I, as I said earlier, um, a team will tag a player, and he will not be allowed. He or his agent will not be allowed to look for another team of uh, via trade. It will all go through the organization. Next, the transition tag. Uh, this is, so I'm going to read the exact definition for, for this one. This offering has become less frequent in the past off seasons. It is calculated based on the top 10 salaries for a respective position, making them slightly lower than their co uh, corresponding franchise tender. So, prime example, if a tag for running backs is $10 million, on which it is, like $10.1 million, the, the transition tag will make it about 8 You know, So, it will be a little lower value than what the market is. So, just like let's say a guy, let's say let's say Saquon Barkley, right? If you don't want to franchise tag him, Tim moves a whole lot. He wants like thirteen. You want to transition tag him, which you probably won't like because he he wants about fourteen, fifteen million. But so you trans you you transcha, uh excuse me you transition tag him, and you'll offer him like eight million. He's gonna be hot, you know. So something like that for that scenario, which uh, I think a player could get that possibly. Uh, I do have one in mind, honestly, and we'll talk about that soon. But let's get into my list. Um, let's talk about it. So first off, let's go with Lamar Jackson. As I said, uh, my prediction is I think he'll be exclusive franchise tagged, um, and that's not really a prediction. Well, it's my prediction, but that kind of came out like a few minutes ago. I actually, right before I started the video, I checked for any breaking news, and the news was that. He will probably get exclusive franchise tag, meaning they will tag him, and he will not be able to ask for, will not be able to seek a, a trade. Um, team, the team will do so if they see fit. You know, so that's probably the most likely thing for Lamar Jackson. But no, there is a, a possibility of him being traded still. That's definitely still possible. But right now, I think they're going to look to try to keep things in house and try to see if they can work things out. But the report is. They are far away on whatever money they're trying to get, guaranteed full contract. I'm not quite sure, but they're far, far away from what they, from what Lamar wants and the team wants to give them. Next, Tremaine Edmonds, who I believe a, per, a player I, that I, I believe is just now catching his, his stride and might be a big time player, maybe the best at his, his position the next four to five years if he can keep keep staying healthy, keep progressing as as, as he could. Uh, because he's he's a player, as we know, out of VTech that was drafted as a project. He was built to be and projected to be a lot better than what he was coming out of college. You know, because some guys right away are as good as they're going to get from, from that point on going to their rookie year. You know, they'll get a little adjustments, a little here, no, a little better here or there, but they're mainly going to be uh, plug-and-play guys. But Tremaine Jackson, uh, Tremaine Edmonds, excuse me, is not that. He's someone who was built... He's kind of raw prospect, kind of raw talent, and as the years goes on, he's gonna get better and better, and better. This last year was his contract year. He got, he kept getting better, 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 and he has best year of his career in my opinion so far. 
my prediction, I think he'll get the transition tag, as I said earlier. Um, the linebacker tag, excuse me, is around $21 million. That's a little high for Tremaine Edmonds for one great year. I think um, they go with the transition tag, and they pay him about $17 million. So a nice little letdown from uh, – from what it is, you know, 21 to 17, still some good money, but he's a couple millions off from, you know, what the actual market value is. And then we'll try again next year. That's my personal opinion. Uh, but possibly it could be no tag because the, the bills are definitely tight on cap space and they look to bring guys in to resign a couple other guys. So it's going to be tough. It really will be tough. Another guy uh, next, Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates the third. I did a video on him for my Falcons to grab him. I think he'll be a free agent. He got tagged last year. Wasn't too happy about it. They still couldn't come to terms on a long-term deal. Uh, as I said last year, the Bengals drafted Daxton Hill. They drafted Cam Taylor Britt. I think he's a good he's a good good as going. He could stay. You know, the, the Bengals do have some nice cap space, about 45, 50 million. So they definitely could bring him back. But I definitely do think uh, Bates will go hit the free agent market. Team like my Falcons, Patriots, Bills should all be interested in a guy like Jesse Bates. So I think he gets no tag, but the tag cost would be about $15, $16 million for Jesse Bates if he were to get tagged. Next, Tony Pollard. I think Tony Pollard, the Cowboys running back, will remain with the Cowboys. As I said earlier uh, in my Saquon Barkley example, um, the running back what is it, the running back tag is $10.1 million basically. I think they give him that. Um, they either cut Zeke or restructure Zeke, but Pollard is the, is the guy. He's the main guy moving forward, in my personal opinion. So we'll see what happens with uh, Zeke, but I definitely think uh, Pollard is, is returning to the Dallas Cowboys as their main guy. Next, Evan Ingram, Jacksonville Jaguars. Tag cost is $11 million. Uh, Evan Ingram had a pretty good year with the Jags last year. The report was they want him back badly. I think they franchise tag him. Prove it one more time for me. And the franchise tag is just that. Prove it again. Prove it again for me. And I think, um, I definitely do think that he'll get that $11 million tag. And you know, he played his best ball last year outside of his rookie year. And uh, I think he can do it again. You know, I, I do believe in Evan Ingram. Um, and I always, for some reason, confuse Evan Ingram and Irv Smith from the uh, Vikings. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that, but uh, yeah. So I, I do think uh, Evan Ingram gets the franchise tag, $11 million. Now, on to my last two for this video, Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones. Who gets tagged? Who gets a long-term deal? As I said earlier, the running back tag is $10.1 million, basically, and the quarterback tag is $32 million. Now, Saquon wants about 13, 14, 15 million. You know, he wants about Chris, uh, around Christian um, McCaffrey's money, which he got a couple years ago when he was with the Panthers still, like 14 million a year, basically. Now, the overall base quarterback market is around 28 million. You know, a guy like Carson Wentz just last year got like 28, uh, about $26 million from, from, the, from the Commanders. Daniel Jones had a better a better year than Carson Wentz. I think he does want more than you know, $26 million, which makes sense to me. Uh, I've had talks and videos about Daniel Jones' contract, and I said maybe a possible two-year $60 million, two-year $70 million deal wouldn't be bad. So that's $30 plus million per year. So the franchise tag him, a one-year prove it deal, show me one more time, for $32 million, I wouldn't mind doing that. So I'll tag... Uh, Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, I think gets no tag. I don't know if they re-sign him. I don't know if it hits the free agency market. But no way in the world, and uh, me personally, I'm paying Saquon Barkley $13, 14000000 million. No way. Show me again. But I'm not tagging you, though. <laughs> I'm not tagging I'm tagging Daniel Jones. Like I said, they, they might can get uh, Saquon at $10 million if they come to a long-term agreement. But reports yesterday came out that Daniel Jones wants about $42, $45 million. I'm like, oh, my Lord. He wants big bucks. So I don't know if it's true or not. They, say, they did say Daniel Jones did Swiss, Swiss agents and agencies. So 
we'll see what happens there. But um, if it's me, if it's up to me, I'm franchising Daniel Jones. Saquon, you can either walk or you can take. I think the Giants offer him from what it from what the reports say. The Giants offer him like twelve, and 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 he turned it down, like twelve and a half million, and he turned that that down. So. He wants all he he wants all of what he wants, which is around fourteen. I'm not if I'm the Giants, I'm not budging. You either take the twelve, I might even go down at the ten, but no way in the world I'm going up to fourteen for me personally. So that's my video, guys. Uh, we'll see what happens. As I said today at four o'clock, franchise tag season will open up, and I'm expecting to see some fireworks in the next coming weeks to see. Who actually stays? Who hits the market? Should be fun, guys. So that's it for video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.